Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Capes with me, Bring It Down. This episode marks the official release of the game, so going forward it will be the full build. And up next we have... Homecoming. I think whenever there's a hero specific mission like this, I'll prioritize it. Weathervane wishes to return home to see his mother and family. Optional objectives, ledge KOs, use team ups, use Weathervane's ultimate, disarm, no hero KOs, and all in one bonus. Damn straight I'm going to see my parents. Damn straight you're not, son. You don't get to call me son. I saved your life, kid. You might want to try listening before you throw it away again. No! You sent a bunch of kids to save my life. That doesn't mean I dance to your tune, old man. Smooth handling, Doc. I see why they never let you talk back in the day. Real hmm. smooth. Keep an eye on him, will you? Have you seen how he's built? Happy to. Well, ironically, I wasn't planning on taking rebound. Because we need to ledge enemies and she has no displacement abilities. At least by default. I think Weathervane gives her a push on her teleport spin. And she is recommended. I don't know if the recommendations are randomized or tailored to each mission. But I think, just to mix things up, I'll take the recommended heroes for each mission. So I'll start defaulting to the same team over and over again. It'll be a good way to keep me on my toes and make things exciting. DJ, what the hell happened? We heard something went wrong at the practice. Some kind of attack? They told us you were dead. Not dead, Dad. It was bad, though. Doesn't matter, I'm back now. You think you can just walk back in like that? We thought you were dead. Your mother is still grieving. The company has been all over the place looking for you, harassing your mother. You don't understand. You don't understand, TJ. What have you done? Why do you bring these people to our Damn door? It. Dad, go inside. Let me finish this. Oh, you think you are the big man now? You give the orders? Dad, please. I can finish this, I promise. Just go. Wondered how long it would take for you to turn up. It's ten against one, fool. Alpha said you were dumb enough to come home. And sure enough, here you are, all alone. Ten against one, eh? Doesn't sound fair. You cooled off yet, TJ? Not really. But kicking these guys half to death will help. So what was up with the dead? He's mad that his assumably dead son came home and wasn't dead. Was causing the mother to grieve, but wouldn't let the son go see the mother to stop her grieving because he wasn't dead? I've seen fathers portrayed like that in media before and I find it very difficult to believe they actually exist. So we need to ledge 8 enemies, use 12 team ups, and disarm 8 enemies. That's tempting. But there should be 10 enemies here, according to the dialogue, and that is accurate. That doesn't leave us a lot of wiggle room. But there's an elevator here. So we may not have to pull our punches like I thought. There's another one over here. So I'm going to operate under the assumption that they'll get reinforcements and do this. Also gives us our Any ultimate right off the bat. Now. now we have Gust, which disarms and knocks back. We'll disarm this guy, knock him into this guy. I don't know if this guy gets knocked back. We'll find out. He does! That won't save you! And yeah, that's a pretty good casting of that. And it checks a box. Can we pull back. Ride the lightning creeps. Actually, I probably should have put him right here. 
Also, I should have seen what his team up with Mercurial does. But for Mercurial, teaming up with Weather Vane boosts her thrust. Weather Vane increases push by one, so it goes from two to three. Uh, Mercurial teaming up with Facet boosts her dash. Facet creates a wall of growth behind Mercurial while using dash. That seems really good. That's going to cut the battlefield in half. He creates obstacles and blocks line of sight. And rebounds teleport. He has two push, one push, and disarm. He also has three range. The dash. How far away is this guy? One, two, three. I also dash here, kick him off the side, and run away. Oh no, kicking him is going to damage him. So I think if they die before they fall off the ledge, it doesn't count. We'll try it. But we'll do this guy first, so let's see. One, two, three. Also gives us a disarm. Move here and punch this guy. And another one gone. So we got a team up, uh, a ledge, and a disarm there. Pretty good turn. And this guy, so Facet teaming up with Mercurial boosts his taunt. Mercurial causes two disarm to the target. Let's take care of the gun guy. Mercurial, I need your help. Because they do a little bit more damage than everybody else. Oh, yeah, are these new enemy types? EMCs, I think they are. That one guy had a shock baton. A PMC, a member of Operator Alpha's private military company, proficient with ranged weapons. Pretty straightforward. Our rebounds team up with Mercurial, booster strike. Mercurial adds two disarm to target. Right, let's hey disarm girl, this guy. Help me disarm these chumps. And take this guy out. I think the disarm will proc before, so four disarm right now. It did. Cool. That's one more of Alpha's goon patrol out of the way. So I've been a little reckless, assuming that they're going to get reinforcements. If they don't, we won't be able to do some of these objectives. That's what the crystal is for. That guy practically gave his life to punch Bassett. <laughs> Alright, so this gun guy's a little scary. I was going to position Weather Vane to try and pull this guy, then knock him off the side, but... Oh, gun guy. The damper of those plants. Do this instead. Charging up! That's one, two, three. Yeah, let's push this guy. Another disarm, and we'll kill this guy. Oh, this whole op is going south! Focus, you morons! I want to cluster together so we have more uh, team-up options. I was thinking about delaying Mercurial's turn to move Facet. I just got the side, but if we try to kick him, he'll die. To do one full damage, he has one and a half health, and then he takes, I think, half a uh, 0.5 damage from the impact. So, probably not worth it. Let's use some team ups here. Mercurial! Want a little extra push? Thanks, rebound. Hey, reinforcements! Case. Everyone form up! Don't let them escape! These guys really like you, Weather Vane. Let's show them who they're dealing with. I mean, the reinforcements didn't all have to show up at once. So energy baton, melee attacks reduces the target's actions and can delay their next turn. Actions minus one and delay two. Now let's start blocking these guys in. Weather Vane, I need you to really knock these guys around. Finish that guy off. Thanks, Mercurial. Well, if that's the right call or not, but what we did. 
stand here. So we have a decent push here. I was a little closer. Uh, but she won't be able to get away. So we'll just wait. Get back! The fire is too dangerous! Although they cluster on the bridge, nice for the uh, fire is too dangerous. Pushback play. Actually, I have an idea here. Get back! The fire is too dangerous. Let me throw some debris in there, chap. Uh, this guy's still a little scary. But we should be out of range. Not a big deal yet. I have an idea for over here, too. Oh, never mind. Doesn't work the way I was hoping. Either way, get in there. They won't even see me coming. I was gonna jump over there and then use the facet boosted dash to put a bunch of growths in the way, but who's too far away? Forgot about that. He's gonna die on his turn. They're all stuck back there. It would have been anyway. Armament! Much obliged, Mercurial. Thanks, Muscles. Gonna get some damage on this guy. Jump back out. Avoiding the fire. Gotta zap a couple more creeps. I'll pull this guy from there. Oh my goodness, I can't. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. Oh, you guys in for a world of hurt, aren't you? I don't need to do anything with her right now. We'll just use a team up. Let me help there. I don't think that actually counts towards it. I was looking at the wrong number, but I still don't think it went up. Thanks, Facet. There we go. Objective done. <laughs> Facet is a really strong character. Let's delay his turn. Rebound! Push him around! That's one more of Alpha's goon patrol out of the way. I got a lot of backstabs on her. What's the range on this? Uh, five. So that's one, two, three. That uh, should reach, right? Pop. Easy. <laughs> All right. That's that's really satisfying. That's just what we need to deal with. They'll come to us. They completed their accumulation. Nail them. Who talks like that? All 
Let's Thanks for the assist. Lock them off again. So we finish this guy, knock him off, and then we finish all these optional objectives, and we just burn through those guys. Pretty easy. So we'll let this guy come to us. Appreciate the support, Bassett. Yeah, we just hang out right here. We'll come to us, and that'll be it. Her ultimate, act more frequently for a number of turns, duration 3 turns, and speed plus 100%. Sure. Get in behind them and shake their defense. We could run in, I'm afraid of some of these guys. We disarm them, I guess. What does PMC stand for anyway? Pretty mediocre chap. Lock that line of sight. I'm gonna leave this open so they kind of funnel towards us. Do kind of a serpentine pattern with the growths. It's gonna take a lot to take him down. Keep working. Oh, he actually had line of sight. I think that he did. for that <laughs> ultimate unleashed cover me okay uh, we do In. Punch. The company is not welcome in the city any longer. Try and dash out. Later, loser. And you're out of here. We did it. Never gets old. If that's all. That's the last of them. Appreciate you all coming by. Least we could do, big guy. I'll come back with you. But you can't stop me from seeing my family. They need me. I need them. That ain't up to us. That's you and Doctrine's business. But your family won't be safe as long as you keep hanging around. More important, nobody in this city will be safe unless we can sort this out. We need you. I know. A lot of people do. Though, I want to find out what they had planned for me. What they're doing to all the supers. Let's go home. Alright, a lot of SP. Was it 15? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 15, yeah. No level ups though, she's short by 2.
and finish Spectral. And Palace Gym. It's TJ, right? I know some people might be able to help you find answers. And call me Kai. Come on, let's bounce. You're telling me people get grabbed on the regular? I'm not telling you anything. I don't talk to people. That's why I'm such a trusted source out here. But yeah, people get grabbed on the reg. Why? Look, kid, you know as well as I do. Ain't no supers operating inside city limits, right? There's me. For now. That's just because you haven't become a big enough problem yet. I sure aim to fix that. Save the tough guy act for the sort who are impressed by it. Anyway, that's my point. You think this city has less people with powers than anywhere else? You think something changed all of a sudden when the company took over? So you're saying that anyone who develops powers gets snatched? Like I did? No, kid. Listen real carefully. I'm not telling you anything. Like I said, I don't talk to people. Now we're even, sis. Make sure nobody hears about this, okay? I got a reputation. How would anybody hear about it when we never had a conversation? You and I, we don't talk to people. Right, dossier, facet. Okay, you promised me answers once we got the time. Spill. There's no way I promised you that. You implied it. You said there wasn't time to go into details now, but we could talk about it later. <sighs> okay, kid. What do you want to know? Where did this base come from, for starters? <sighs> Back before the shit hit the fan, this was just one of our bases. The company hit the big one, the Tower of Virtue, of course. But that was a shell. A PR stunt, really. This one sat unused for a long time. It seemed like a good place to start work again. How many people do you think we'll need to get it done? As many as we can get. This ain't gonna be easy, kid. Why has this taken so long? You vanished for 20 years. Everyone thought you were dead. I was. What does that mean? It means... Question time is over. Scram. I wonder what his power is. He's called Doctrine, so I wonder if he's meant to be more of just like an idea. Alright, rebound in Doctrine. Seriously though, what's your deal? I'm not a subtle man. Whatever it looks like is probably what it is. That's not the answer a straightforward guy would give, Doc, and you know it. If we'd stopped the company way back at the start of this, if we'd taken them seriously then, instead of waiting, things would be different now. You feel responsible, you mean? Not responsible. Angry. Trust me, old man. Anger never gets you anywhere. Speak for yourself. I've been a long time with nothing but anger to sustain me. Now, anger has helped me put all the pieces together to make a change. Yeah, about that. What sort of change are you thinking? What comes after the end of your little vendetta? I'm not a builder. I used to think maybe I was, but now no. But I can still break what's already busted. And maybe whoever comes next can pick up the pieces. Yeah, hey, because he's called Doctrine or a set of beliefs, and I'm wondering if maybe he looks so dejected and run down like he does now. Well, one, because he's on the run, but two, because no one believes in superheroes at the moment in the city. But maybe as we progress the game, he'll become more heroic and we'll see him in his costume down the road. But we'll see. So what challenge did we just complete? It was a uh, polished gem, right? I just hit it level three. Same for her. 
All right, anyway. Upgrades, let's look at facets. So shard strike, we can get increased damage by 0.5. That's actually pretty good because it knocks him back and impacts do half damage. So it's a full two damage if you knock him into something. I think upgrading Crystallize is the way to go. That is his bread and butter. To increase max movement while crystallized by one, he's limited to three. He normally has five movement, but only three crystallize, so we'll give him four. Uh, shield Shard upgrade seems really good. Let's grab this. I knew these crystals would be good for something. Because positioning is king, and I think this, because he has a hard time generating his ultimate. Because he's not always in the thick of things, but I oftentimes misposition other allies. I still look and see what else we have first. So backstab damage increased by one. I think that's a must-have. Uh, Shadow Blast upgrade increases disarm by one, so from two to three. And strike increases the damage by 0.5. I'll put it at two. Let's grab the backstab damage. They'll never see it coming. That is her bread and butter as well. And I think we'll upgrade. Well, won't use all of our points if we do that. Let's do this shield chart upgrade. So hits on shield chart increases fastest charge by one. Can't wait to test this out. And that way he also doesn't take damage, because shield chart blocks all damage from an attack. Where if he takes the hits himself, he's still taking damage. But this will let him build his ultimate without having to kill himself doing so. I think that's the right call. So I think next we'll do tech support and go from there. We'll see what the recommended heroes are when we do that one. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.